very good morning to all, bringing to you news from across the country and the world. I'm Shanali Silva, coming to you live and direct from the ITN studio. Before we go into our news in detail, let's take a look at our headlines. The number of COVID-19 contracted patients has increased up to five. The President and the Prime Minister have taken every measure to combat COVID-19 in the country. The Prime Minister appeals to the public to act with responsibility as a nation at this juncture. All education and institutions will be closed. The WHO says that Europe has become the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic. And now for local news. Director General of Health Services Dr. Anil Jai Singha confirms that three more patients who had contracted the coronavirus have been identified in Sri Lanka. Accordingly, the number of contracted patients have been increased up to five at present. One of these patients is a 41-year-old Sri Lankan male who had arrived from Germany. He has been admitted to IDH hospital. The other two patients are from a group of people who had been quarantined at the facility of Kandakadu. One of them is a 37-year-old who had arrived from Italy. He is currently being treated at the Polonaro Hospital. The other is a 43-year-old male who had also arrived from Italy. He is being treated at IDH. This brings the total number of confirmed coronavirus cases in Sri Lanka to five. 64 persons suspected to have infected with coronavirus are also receiving treatments at 17 separate hospitals throughout the island. 13 persons who kept contact with the two coronavirus infected patients are also among them. Meanwhile, government has decided to temporarily suspend passengers from Iran, Italy, South Africa, France, German, Sweden, Spain, Switzerland, Australia, Denmark, and the Netherlands entering into the island for a period of two weeks. Several firm decisions have been taken under the guidance of President Gotabe Rajapaksha and Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha to combat COVID-19 in the country. Measures initiated by the government since January have been instrumental in preventing the disease coming into the country. Sri Lanka is in the forefront among the few countries that established a task force to tackle this global health threat. President Gotabe Rajapaksha and Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha instructed officials to take every necessary action to develop and maintain this positive trend and to safeguard the well-being of the people during a meeting held at the Presidential Secretariat yesterday. President said to establish the task force at a permanent location and take decisions following gathering of information. Steps have also been taken with the assistance of the World Health Organization to expedite the diagnosis process. Still on local news, Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha says that people should not have fear regarding the corona pandemic situation as the government has taken every possible action to control spreading the disease. I want Garutara Mahasangarat Nyatula Pujukutumini, Mitravoruni. Adarniya do darwuni. Obadanoa the Mululu came, Corona was hung at the Munadi city in about. Making a special announcement yesterday, the Prime Minister further said that there are adequate amount of medicine, food, and other requirements in the country. The Prime Minister stressed that the government has a proper mechanism to cope with the emergency situation. Arrangements have been made to provide medical facilities for any person. The Prime Minister appealed to the public not to have unnecessary fear at this moment. People should avoid public gatherings as much as possible, especially the people who have arrived from foreign countries and others who have associated with them should remain in their homes following quarantine measures. We should not discriminate virus-contracted persons and stage protests against the urgent health measures taken by the government. The government will inform the public regarding all important facts without hiding through Corona Control Task Force. Therefore, he points out the need to show the patience and restraints we have developed as a nation. 
National educational institutes and teacher training colleges across the island will be closed from Monday to 29th of this month due to the prevailing concerns over the spread of coronavirus. The Ministry of Education says these institutions will reopen for studies on the 30th of March. Meanwhile, all technical colleges and vocational training institutes in the country will also be closed for two weeks from today. The decision has been taken by the Secretary of the Minister DM Sarat Abe Gunawardhana and the instructions of Minister Dinesh Gunawardhana. Accordingly, all technical colleges and vocational training institutes under the Sri Lanka Bureau of Foreign Employment, Vocational Training Authority, Ceylon German Technical Training Institute, National Apprentice and Industrial Training Authority and Department of Technical Education and Training will remain closed this manner. The seven respondents accused in the central bank bond scam, including former MP Ravi Karunanayaka, appeared before the Colombo Fort Magistrate yesterday. The respondents, the respondents who, appeared who appeared before, before Colombo Fort Magistrate Ranga Disanayaka left the court later. They absconded the CID for nearly seven days since the arrest warrants were issued on them. Others who appeared before the court are Perpetual Treasury's owner Arjun Aloysius, Chairman Jeffrey Aloysius, CEO Kasun Palisena, Director Ranjan Hulugala, former senior officer attached to the Public Credit Department Sangara Pillai Padumanathan, and Indika Saman Kumara. The petitions filed for the respondents, including Karuna Nayaka, were considered by the Court of Appeal yesterday. The petitions will be taken for further consideration on March 17th. The crisis of the UNP is further increasing. Former UNP parliamentarian Lakshman Kirilla has U says UNP leader Ranil Vikramasinghe now have the opportunity to unite the party by respecting the views of others. Former parliamentarian Ajit Pereira says that the UNP is now unable to contest under the elephant symbol as the majority of the people do not accept it. Some UNP leaders are now in opinion of the post postponing of the election. The government requests the public support to combat the novel coronavirus. Health Ministry of the in introduced two numbers to respond to the health-related questions of the public 0710-107-107 and 0113-071-073. Verified news can be assessed from the Health Promotion Bureau, Department of Government Information and the News.LK website and their Facebook pages. Meanwhile, the UNICEF has made an announcement stating that the virus will not sustain in temperatures around 26 and 27 Celsius. Symptoms such as cough, fever, headaches and respiratory problems are requested to be called for immediate medical attention. Avoidance of public places during the traveling, covering the face when with the elbow when sneezing, and safe disposal of tissues and handkerchiefs are advised as measures to contain the spread of the virus. That's all the news we have for you today. Stay tuned with ITN for more updates. I'm Shanali Silva. Have a great day.